I'm Mr. Brainy. Some of you trusted me that I should explain the blood flow in the heart. So I'm going to be giving you some shortcuts that you used to remember it. It's very simple. So this is the diagram of the heart. I'll still paste a video, a picture of the heart in the video. So we have the SVC, which is called the superior vena cava. We also have the IVC. These are large veins in the body and some other veins. The first place that this blood is going to flow is in the right atrium. When I was teaching, I gave people a shortcut. I told you, never forget this shortcut, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright carries the oxygenated blood. So this right now, right atrium, right ventricle is the oxygenated. Don't forget it, Mr. Wright, the oxygenated blood. So the blood flows through this place into the right atrium. It flows into the right atrium. Then it passes through a trimout valve called the tricuspid valve. Into where? Same Mr. Wright, right ventricle. What is a valve in this? What is the valve then in the heart? It prevents the backflow of blood. So it's a disease condition when the heart is not functioning very well. Blood is supposed to flow very well, but if it is going back, that means is it the valve is having problem. So the blood flows into the right atrium, then goes into the right ventricle. Then Mr. Wright has finished his work. Where is it going next? Into an artery, the only artery in the body that does the opposite function of an artery. Arteries normally carries oxygenated blood, but this artery carries the oxygenated blood. What is the name of this artery? Pulmonary artery. From the word pulmonary, it deals with respiration, that is the lungs. So pulmonary artery, it carries this deoxygenated blood into the lungs where it gets in contact with the alveoli of the lungs and this alveoli there is an exchange of gas it becomes oxygenated where else is it going to flow it's not going to flow into a vein normally veins carry deoxygenated blood but this vein works the opposite of every other vein it's called the pulmonary vein this pulmonary vein carry it from that lungs is already oxygenated carry it from that lungs into mr left and this left carries oxygenated blood. Why I'm using this Mr. Right and Mr. Left is because there is a part of your brain called the hippocampus. It learns through experience. So that's why I'm using Mr. Right and Mr. Left. So this deoxygenated blood, this oxygenated blood now flows into the left atrium. From this left atrium, it goes into two mouth valves called the bicuspid valve. And this bicuspid valve carries it into the left ventricle. From the left ventricle, we are done with the flow of the blood in the heart. From the left ventricle, it enters into the aortic valve. And this aortic valve carries it to the aorta, which is the largest artery in the body, where it spreads to the body. I don't know if I explained this very well. A recap, a very few, a short recap. Blood flows from here into the Mr. Right, deoxygenated blood. From Mr. Right, right atrium, it goes into a tremor valve, then it flows into the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, it goes into pulmonary artery, through a trunk, pulmonary artery, where it gets oxygenated in the lungs, in the alveoli of the lungs, to be precise. From this place, it carries it the veins, pulmonary veins, that this is the only vein that works the opposite of every other vein, carries it into the left atrium. From the left atrium, it goes into bicuspid valve, or called the mitria valve, into the left ventricle. This is the place where doctors put the acetoscope and feel heartbeats. It is also a question. Is a place this is in this left ventricle and it's, it is the thickest. So this left ventricle now push blood into this um, uh, into this uh, aortic valve. So if all these valves are not functioning very well, it causes heart attack, which is called myocardial infarction. So, but this valve will help to prevent the backflow of blood. So blood should be moving, not forward, not backward. I hope I've explained this for the midwifery students and also the nursing students and also the medicine students. Like and subscribe. Other schools. What I said, I believe it is well explained. Thank you.
don't forget to subscribe